All right, today's video is all about cuttings. What you need to know, what to watch out for. Be careful what you buy because there's a lot of different kinds of cuttings out there and you have to know what you're buying, what it's gonna do. Are they gonna die? Are they gonna be great? Are they gonna root quickly? Are they gonna root normally? So follow along today. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about cuttings, how to buy them, what to look for, and what not to buy. All right, so this tree right here, this is albacore comuna. Didn't perform very well for me. Um, so if you look at this tree here, all the way up to the very tip bud, the wood is nice and brown, all right? So that is lignified wood when it's brown. And this, this is fully lignified, okay? So this is completely hardened off and so typically, if you're gonna buy cuttings, uh, the best cuttings to get um, are gonna be fully lignified and dormant cuttings. Now, what do I mean by dormant cuttings? So dormant cuttings are cuttings that after all my trees uh, have gone dormant, gone to sleep, um, they lose all their leaves, uh, get a frost or two maybe, uh, no hard freezes, but let's say a frost or two, and I'm ready to pack them into my garage. Um, at that point, I can take the cuttings. So if I'm taking cuttings, and um, if I go to um, take that cutting, and there's sap flowing, then the tree's not dormant, okay? So, but if I take the cuttings, and everything's fine, there's no sap flow, then they're dormant, okay? So you have lignified cuttings and unlignified. We'll talk about those in a minute. So typically what you wanna buy is dormant lignified cuttings. So we know lignified is these brown, okay, brown wood. We know what that is. But you don't know if you're gonna get dormant or non-dormant cuttings. Uh, but there's one way to tell. Right now is the middle of September. And if you see cuttings on Figbid or one of the Facebook groups or something or eBay, cuttings right now are going to be non-dormant, okay? They're gonna be green or lignified. Let's take a look at what green cuttings will look like. Okay, let's look at this tree. This is, um, this is a Beltrana. So, this is a first year cutting and uh, this is green. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. Yes, I am! If I took a cutting of this, it would be non-dormant green cutting. Go down, you start to get into semi-lignified. So this tree goes from semi-lignified to green cutting. You don't wanna get green cuttings right now. Um, if I took a um, this green cutting, um, I could put that uh, to root and control it with humidity, humidity dome and so on, green tip cuttings. You can do that in the middle of summer. Now is not the greatest time. Um, you do it in the middle of summer and you put it in a shady area, wait a month or a month and a half, and you got, um, you got yourself a nice little rooted uh, tree or you know cutting. And, and I've done that, I've shown a video. Uh, it's really easy to do. Now's not the time to do that. So, um, People can disagree, but I'm telling you right now, do not buy green cuttings. It's a waste of your time, they're gonna die. Some people wanna sell them, that's fine. Some people wanna buy them, that's fine. But if you're, you're, you're taking some, a little bit of advice from me, um, you know, I've, I've killed more cuttings than a lot of people. So um, learn from me. Uh, you don't wanna mess with green cutting, even semi-lignified. Um, you don't wanna pay for them, put it that way. Um, I give out hundreds and hundreds of cuttings every year uh, to friends and, and folks uh, that live nearby. And if you get a semi-lignified cutting for free and you wanna try that, that's fine, okay? Go ahead and do that and you may get successful. Um, but the risk is you have, the risk with a semi-lignified or green cutting is that it's not gonna ship well. And once you get it, um, you go to try to root it, 
have to root it right away. That's the biggest thing. You have to root it right away. You can't wait until February. You get a green or semi-lignified cutting, um, you got to root it right away. And when you get it, it still may not be successful, okay? So it's just a bunch of problems. That's all I got to say. Um, however, if you're local and I'm taking a, I have a vigorous tree that's growing and I have semi-lignified wood and I hand you some cuttings, you're local, I just took them a day or two ago, you can give it a shot. That's fine. Uh, but don't pay anybody for uh, semi-lignified cuttings. Um, but if you want to buy lignified, semi-lignified cuttings um, or even green cuttings, know what you're buying. And that's what you're buying. You're buying something that may not travel, may not root well, and you may just waste a bunch of your time. Okay? So let's keep looking. Um, all right, so what's a good cutting? Um, you know, this is a tip, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would say a cutting about that big. All right, so that's, you know, eight inches, and this has more than three nodes. So you want a cutting that's about eight inches. Um, certainly 10 inches is about the max that you want for a cutting. And you want three nodes, that way you can bury some of the nodes down here and have a couple you know, sticking above ground. Um, so that's what you want to look for in a cutting as well. And this is thicker than pencil. So let's look at some um, some better candidates for cuttings. So this right here, this is Vertolino, and look at the uh, spread, the node spread. Um, so if you get a cutting of this, you want three nodes, it's gonna be really long, all right? So you can't put that in a solo cup very easily. Um, so you gotta keep that in mind. Um, the spread, the node spread, um, sometimes you just get two nodes, you gotta deal with that. This is decent size. I like them even a little thicker than this. This is um, kind of a thin sharpie width right there. So let's take a look at this. Now this is this tree here is crows and if I cut this down um, to winterize it, this is in ground, this crows, um, there's still going to be a lot of this tree that is not lignified um, in the wintertime. So, uh, this may die back. But anyway, um, this is where people are taking their green cuttings. And um, so a tree like this, people are taking, they don't have any more chance, like this fruit here has no chance. Um, it's really small. And they're taking a bunch of green cuttings and they're selling them. So um, you gotta know what you're getting, and I certainly would not want, I would never buy green cuttings from somebody um, on the internet and have those shipped. It's, it's a waste of your money. So let's go take a look at cuttings that are gonna be thick cuttings and um, we'll talk briefly about some problems with those. We are in my outdoor lean-to. And this is Vertolino back here, this one right here. Uh, this is Vertolino, and I'm gonna have to cut it here, um, about here. So there's about five feet worth of cuttings right there. And um, but if you look in here, this is pretty thick this cutting. So this cutting is pretty thick. Um, and, you know, it'll be lignified at some point. Well, it's pretty lignified now, or fairly. Uh, it'll be dormant, but this is about as thick. You can see my finger will hide behind that. Um, maybe my thumb. So, Pretty, pretty thick. Um, 
you don't want them much thicker than that. And the reason is that uh, really thick cutting will take a long time to root. Uh, a lot of folks on uh, fig bid aren't selling really thick cuttings. Uh, but the flip side to it is once that thicker cutting roots, it just explodes. Um, there's a lot of life to it. There's a lot of mass in there, um, really thin cuttings. I've rooted um, cuttings as thin as my, and as tall as my pinky. And I got big seven foot trees um, that season with them. So you can certainly root anything, any cutting, but just trying to let you know what the optimal types of cuttings are, okay? So if you look behind me, all these trees growing up here. You know, that's a lot, that's a lot of green cuttings and all the figs up there that high. Um, well, I'll get some of these to ripen for sure, but folks that have these in farms or whatever, and they have, you know, 12 foot tall, 10 foot tall um, fig trees, they're cutting them now and they're putting these online and uh, it's just not, it's a, it's a waste of time, so don't don't get good, don't get green cuttings. That's all I'm telling you. Don't uh, semi green. You got to know what you're getting, and the price should reflect that. The price should reflect if it's semi uh, lignified cuttings. Uh, you're taking a risk, and the price should reflect that it's semi lignified. If they're green cuttings, they should be free, and um, you want to get them handed to you from somebody. That's it. Um, now, here is the sleeper. Um, so right now, cuttings um, are being offered are going to be either green, semi-lignified, or lignified, but they're all going to be non-dormant, meaning they're in active growth. When they were cut, sap was flowing. If you get a lignified cutting right now, you can put that to root, it's gonna root right away. If you follow the steps that I have in um, my rooting video, and you can mix that five parts soil to one part water, mix it real good, um, that's gonna give you a really good ratio. Um, that way you don't have to squeeze it so much. Um, you get that cutting, it's gonna root right away, right now. It's gotta be lignified, uh, so they can ship it to you, whatever. Um, you're going to get that. It's going to be do really well. But you got to take care of it all winter, like a house plant. Uh, you know, you can certainly keep it small in a small pot so it doesn't grow out of control. Um, if you do that right now, you know, it only takes a couple of months to get a, a three foot, four foot, and then five foot tree by you know, by the time April comes around, you could have a seven foot tall indoor tree. So know what you're getting into. Um, you may not want to do that. Something to think about. So when, sh when should I buy cuttings? Well, depending on your source, and you can look on FigBid where the person is located, um, California folks, their cuttings, their trees don't go dormant until later, maybe January. Uh, certainly that's the case like Harvey, Figaholics, biggest fig cutting sale on the internet in the world. Um, you know, his trees, he's in California, Northern California, and he doesn't go dormant until January sometime. Uh, East Coasters and everybody else, for that matter, we're going to go dormant by uh, November, December, whatever. So when you see the cuttings go on sale, you got to look at who's selling them, and are they, do they have a good reputation? And you can look at folks that have a lot of sales, but if they're selling you green cuttings, that's, gonna t that's gotta tell you something. Um, so get your cuttings, I would say, you know, if you buy them in November. Um, and they should tell you online if it's, if it's a good reputable person, whether it's dormant or non-dormant. Um, you know, if you get a California cutting in December, that's what I did with the Angelito. I think it was dormant, but either way, um, 
it rooted right away for me and I got a big old tree out of it because I really babied it and it just grew like crazy. Um, but your dormant cuttings, if you follow the advice that I told you um, in that video, you should see roots in three weeks anyway. So it's all a balance, but make sure you know what you're getting. And there's nothing wrong with getting non-dormant lignified cuttings because they're going to root right away. Makes your life a lot easier. Um, you get them from California folks. You get them in uh, mid late December, even into January. Um, they're going to send you uh, a lot of folks will send a lot of California sellers will send you dormant cuttings, but they're going to wait until later. Some will have slightly less dormant or barely dormant or whatever. So figure it out. Um, so that's it, folks. Just know what you're getting. And if take a word of advice from me, stay away from uh, green cuttings. Um, shipped and so on it just doesn't doesn't make sense so good luck out there and good luck this coming season rooting all your fig trees and let's keep growing figs